Hi, so in this video, this is a continuation of the lowest common multiple type questions. I'm going to add this onto the playlist on YouTube. If you have a look at LCM and HCFs on YouTube, that will help. Or you can visit uh, mathswrap.co.uk and that will give you quite a lot of information about how we deal with lowest common multiples. Uh, this particular question deals with three people who go swimming on a fairly regular basis. Uh, if you have a look at the uh, description box underneath, that will give you the question fully. It's it's round about level C, level B at GCSE, and it basically concerns three people. Uh, one's called Lars, uh, one's called Rita, and one's called Alan, and they all go swimming together on the 1st of June. So on the 1st of June, uh, they all decide to uh, to go swimming together and off they go. Okay, and then the question deals with um, the fact that Lars goes every two days, so he's every two days. Um, Rita goes every three days, and Alan goes every five days. Okay, so in other words, if Lars goes on the 1st of June, the next time he goes will be two days later. So two days later will be the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd. So the next time he goes will be the 3rd of June. Um, with Rita, the next time she goes will be three days later. So one, two, three. So she's going to go next on the 4th of June. And um, Alan, who's uh, got perhaps other things to do, so he's going to go five days later. So he's going to go from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So he's next going to go swimming on the 6th of June. So it's going to be over there, which is five days later from the 1st of June. OK, so the question deals really with a series of... Um, word problems that are designed to use lowest common multiple. So the first bit of the question is um, when will Lars and Rita, so Lars and Rita, next go swimming together? Well, Lars goes every two days and Rita goes every three days. So the lowest common multiple of Lars and Rita is six because two, four and six and then three and six. So if you write out the multiples of the two times table you'll get to six and the multiples of the three times table you'll get to six. So the lowest common multiple of Lars and Rita is six and what that means is is that the next time that they will go swimming together will be six days from the first of June. So the next time they'll go swimming together um, will be the 7th of June, which is six days after the 1st. OK, so that's part A of this particular question. Um, part B asks the question, on what date will Rita and Alan next go swimming? Well, it's a similar sort of question. You've got Rita and Alan. And again, we're looking for the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5. And the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. So Rita and Alan, the next time they go swimming together, will be 15 days from the 1st, which is going to be the 16th of June. So that's the next time they all go swimming together, or Rita and Alan go swimming together. OK, the third part of the question is on what day of the week will all three go swimming together? OK, this is a little bit trickier because you've got uh, two things that you need to consider. Firstly, it is the lowest common multiple of Lars, Rita and Alan. And the lowest common multiple of 2, 3 and 5 is 30. That's the lowest common multiple. So in other words, it's going to be 30 days past the 1st of June. OK, so um, that's just a little bit trickier because you've got to uh, be aware perhaps of how the calendar works. And the question tells me that the 1st of June is actually a Friday. So this is a Friday. 
So in other words, from Friday the 1st of June, um, 28 days later, which is um, four weeks, four lots of seven day weeks, plus 28 will get me to a Friday the 29th of June. So I know that definitely after 28 days it's going to be a Friday as well. And then really I've got to add another two days on because I've got 30 as the lowest common multiple. So if I add the first day on that's going to be um, Saturday and that's going to be the 30th of June. Okay now June only has 30 days so the next day after that, so one day after that, is going to be Sunday, and that's the 1st of July. Okay, so the next time that they all go swimming together will be Sunday, the 1st of July. Okay, and then the last bit is which of the three will go swimming on the 15th? Well, the 15th of June is 14 days past the 1st of June. Okay, so here we are, we've got the 15th of June and we know that that's plus 14 days, so it's plus 14 days. Well, out of all three swimmers, out of Lars, Rita and Alan, the only person that would go swimming on the 15th of June would be Lars because 14 is a multiple of 2. 14 isn't a multiple of 3 or 5, so the only person who could go swimming on uh, the 15th of June will be Lars. Okay, so there's Lars. Alright, so you've got four answers um, there. So you've got 7th of June, 16th of June, the 1st of July and Lars will go swimming on the 15th of June. Um, I hope that's okay. I will put a little bit more of a description of the question. I'll certainly put the question into the description box and I'll also hopefully add a few little comments about this. Um, it's quite a good question, certainly with uh, dealing with LCMs because it does uh, get you to think perhaps a little bit more about things like calendar dates and that sort of thing and also looking at how LCMs can work in practice. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Please do post, pin, tweet uh, this particular video, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and also you can visit mathsrap.co.uk. There is a quick test on lowest common multiples and highest common factors that you can download and have a go for yourself. Um, I hope you've been, I hope you found that helpful. Please do add a comment below and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.